So we've reached the end of the regular season. A 13-3 and record is much better than I could have hoped for. And that's when you take into account the fact that Jason Campbell had a, a really bad season, so inconsistent. And also Sean Taylor didn't have that great of, a, of an individual season. Uh, I found a lot of the times, and this is probably a big reason why Sean Springs had so many interceptions this year, is they just weren't throwing the ball all that often to his side of the field. Um, Carlos Rogers also got quite a few picks as well because if they were throwing to that side of the field, it was typically the Carlos Rogers guy. Uh, but that being said, 13-3, and I'm very happy with that. Uh, Clinton Portis had an incredible year and was really, really robbed in MVP voting. This this game's dumb in that. I mean, you're looking at the MVP candidates here, Drew Brees, Nick McNabb, uh, Damien, Damon or Damon, Damien, I'm not sure what it is. Damon Hurd was there. Clinton Portis was fifth in NFC voting. So he's really... I mean, the AFC, NFC, that, that's not like the NBA where you've got one conference that's superior to the other. So let's just go ahead and say he was the 10th best player in this game. Uh, Sean Springs wasn't that... F- he had a very good second half of the season and he should have gotten more consideration uh, for player of the year. He got 12 interceptions for the year. That's insane. Uh, he had other players stepping up. L- uh, London Fletcher was amazing. Marcus Washington was amazing. LeVar Arrington, who I'd got purely for nostalgic reasons, was also incredible. So that defense really carried us, as well as Clinton Portis, obviously. We're going to have a look at his stats right now. And 25 touchdowns. If it wasn't for uh, Terrell Davis in my previous Madden, that would have been right there. I mean, a couple of touchdowns short of the NFL record. So, And for him to, to be that dominant in terms of scoring the ball, especially when you consider... You know, he wasn't, he didn't have uh, a Philip Rivers or a Drew Brees alongside him. He didn't even have a Matt Hasselback alongside him. He had a guy that was, what, you know, Jason Campbell had a lot more uh, interceptions than he did touchdowns. So he carried that offense. So the defense and the, and Clinton Portis were the reasons that we got to a 13 and 3 record. And we're looking through it here. Uh, very, very dominant defense. By far and away, the best defensive team I've had uh, in playing Madden. So now we've got a situation where we're about to line up. And I'm not, I'm not confident at all going into the playoffs, even despite the 13-3 and record. It's because when I get off to a slow start, it's, very, it's, it's easy if I get off to a good start because I can control the ball. I can run the ball. I can slowly play the, the clock down a little bit. I can try to see if they can contain that run. And the only way they're really containing is putting eight or nine guys in the box. If they're not doing, if they do do that, then the passing lanes are open. But if I'm down 17 points, 14 points, like I was against the Vikings, the ball is in Jason Campbell's hands, and I'm not, I'm not confident in that situation at all. So even though I've got home field heading into into the NFC playoffs, I feel a lot less confident than what I did when I was with the Broncos last year, and I had to come from a wild card to win the Super Bowl. So that's that. We just had a look at the um, the Pro Bowl voting, and thank goodness Portis made that. Uh, we're going to look at where where Portis, uh, his season was uh, in terms of, of rushing touchdowns all time. I was talking about that a second ago. So you got 28, 27, and 27 for, for um, Priest, uh, Priest Holmes. So the 25 would have been tied for what fourth all time that's pretty that's pretty good and he and that's insanely good as i was saying and he got absolutely no recognition for mvp that's unbelievable but it it is what it is it's mad and logic what can you do and now we're going to go to the schedule and because we have the bye in the first round we're going to sim each game individually and see exactly who's playing the browns made the playoffs can you believe that (laughs) Uh, but we got the seahawkers and packers chiefs and steelers uh, Eagles and Saints, and of course the Browns and Chargers. No, uh, no surprise there. The Chargers win that game. The video is cutting out there. I'm not sure why, but yeah, I'm, I'm having a look there. It's uh, the Saints uh, win that game barely. Uh, that's close. Uh, I wasn't too <laughs> too upset if I had to face the Eagles again. I've had a lot of success against them. The Steelers win over the the Chiefs, and now we have. Uh, the Packers. The Packers have defeated the Seahawks. So I've got the Packers again, and that's one of the teams that did beat me. Although that was, I'm not, I'm not too worried about that. That, that's, I can live with that one because 
<laughs> they had to pull out some major BS to beat me in the fourth quarter. So I'm happy with that. And we've got the Packers now, so let's let's go ahead, let's play. Mission of the Washington Redskins. Thanks for tuning in for continuing coverage of this year's NFL playoffs. Both teams feature big play personnel on both sides of the ball. This one could be a barn burner as the Green Bay Packers take on the Washington Redskins. Here's the hit. He's wrestled down in the back of the From the 
20-yard line. And off to the tailback. This one appears to be coming back. Let's check on the officials. Let's go, baby. Personal foul. Offense. For sure, for sure. Oh, that's it. Oh, he got it. Let's go. Repeat first down. Campbell looking to throw. He's wrapped up in the open field. Campbell with the pass completion. Gain of 21. He's smooth. Good job Boy, on the ground as he gets it past the marker and picks up a first. Campbell back to pass. Right through the defender, but he fails to pull it in. They'll go with the run once again. Jenkins. Snap goes to Campbell. He's nailed for the sack. They were looking to pass all the way on that third down play. Campbell back to pass. He wiped it. 
Point after 12. And he takes on the extra point. 